Well, Daddy Foxy went out one chilly night. He prayed for the moon for to give him light. For he many, many miles to go that night before he came to the town. Oh, town, oh, town, oh. Yes, he'd many, many miles to go that night before he came to the town. Oh, and when he came to the farmer's pen where the ducks and the geese they were kept therein. He said, one of yous are going to grease my chin before I leave this town. Oh, town, oh, town, oh. One of yous are going to grease my chin before I leave this town. Oh, so he grabbed the grey goose by the neck and slung another duck up across his back. And he did not mind their quivy quivy quack, or their legs all a dangling down. Oh, down, oh, down, oh, no, we did not mind their quivy quivy quack, or their legs all a dangling down. Then old mother flipper flapper got out of bed and out of her window she stuck her little lad. She cried, John, John, the grey goose is gone and the fox is away to his den. Oh, den, oh, den, oh, crying, John, John, the grey goose is gone. And the fox is away to his den, oh. Then John ran up to the top of the hill and he blew his little horn both loud and shrill. Play on said Raynard with your music shrill, for I am away with me kill, oh. Kill, oh, kill, oh. Play on said Raynard with your music shrill, for I am away with me kill, oh. Well, when Daddy Fox got back to his den, there were the little ones, eight, nine, ten. They said, Daddy, Daddy, better go back again, cause it must have been a mighty fine town, oh. Town, oh, town. Saying, Daddy, Daddy, better go back again, cause it must have been a mighty fine town. Oh. Well, old Daddy Fox and his foxy wife, they cut up the goose without any strife. And they never had such a supper in their lives, and the little ones cheered on the bones. Oh. Bones, oh, bones, oh, oh, they never had such a supper in their lives, and the little ones cheered on the 